Morning to you all. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor of St. Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Welcome to all our MGC family, all visitors, and all joining us by audio and video. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And don't ever say he don't have nothing for me. That's you right. know, when, when, when they call you to eat supper or breakfast or whatever, uh -huh. don't ever say, well, that's not for me. Because you want something. Uh -huh. And you, want, you partake. Yes. And you do real good. Amen. Yes. So guess what? He's always got something for us. Amen. So yeah. let's partake. And let's, uh, let's take. Listen to this. The Lord is not finished with you. And we're going to be talking about it. Lord wants to use you. Yeah. He put you here for a purpose. He put you here for a reason. And not just to sit. <laughs> but to be a partaker. And not just a spectator. That's right. Amen. Not just to sit down and do nothing. Mm -hmm. But he wants to use you. You're not here for nothing. You know. That's so right. if you're going around saying. God never uses me. Or God don't want to use me. Is wrong. Yeah. Right. Because he put you here yeah. to be used. Amen. Amen. So we're going to find out. How he wants to use you. He has great plans for you. Not include defeat. Right. Make yourself available to him. Yeah. And uh, just remember that you can do all things through all Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Remember yeah. that you're a winner and not a loser. That's remember it. that the greater one lives in you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm a winner. I'm a yeah. champion. And I'm an overcomer. Man. You spend yeah. time confessing this word God. And you're going to build yourself up. He says, start yourself up. Yeah. You know why? Because nobody's going to do it for you. Amen. If you listen to the negative world out there, the negative media all the time, you're going to be down and out. You got to stir yourself up. Renew your mind with the Word of God. If you're not doing these things, guess what? You're going to be down and out just like them. So stir yourself up. Amen. Amen. He's telling us, stir yourself up. Right. Nobody's going to do it for you. Right. So you do it for yourself. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. Yeah. Let's make do this declaration together. Grab your swords, grab soldier of God, grab your Bibles, and make this declaration together. Amen. All right, here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. If you never heard this before, you hear it now. The battlefield is the mind. Amen. The enemy tries to put things on there, confuse you, yeah. and do all kinds of things. Yeah. That's why he says, renew your mind with the Word of God. Yeah. Amen? Because, like I said, this negative media is just bombarding you with all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Sure Amen? And you'll be thinking all these things, and you're meditating on these things. Next thing you know is you're going to be down and out. Yeah. So you got to renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen? And you got to feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. Yeah. To keep yourself going. To keep yourself strength amen everybody might be going the wrong way but you got to stay in the right way and sometimes you might be going by yourself that's okay everybody going the other way say when you join the crowd when you join in the wrong crowd you got to stay where god wants you amen. you got to go where god has you going amen, amen. Ooh, man we're going to be talking about that i'm excited already Lord, <laughs> praise god amen 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 well, here we go. We've been talking about staying focused. You know, we're about the middle of uh, uh, of the year now. So, yeah. you know what? <laughs> Don't lighten up. Press on. Amen. Until press on. On every day. Not just once in a while, you know. Don't run out of gas. <laughs> Keep yourself filled all the time with the Word. Stay filled. Amen. Praise God. Keep them spiritual tanks full all the time. <laughs> We've been talking about staying focused, you know, because uh -huh. this world, like I said, this world is going to bombard you with negative things. Yes. And you're going to be focused on the wrong things. Yes. Stay focused on what God wants you to be That's focused right. on. Amen. Last week we talked about being joyful. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Amen. Keep Amen. yourself joyful. Be, you know, we need to remember, count your blessings, not yes. your worries, That's not it. your cares. Not to all these negative uh -huh. things, you know, but count your blessings. Yes, and yeah, I told you this, I said, you're too blessed to be stressed. That's it. That's Amen. It. You're too blessed to be stressed. Uh -huh. You're too blessed to be worried. Count your blessings. Thank yes. you, Lord. If you have nothing else to say, just yeah. raise your hands and say, Lord, thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank Lord, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 
But the enemy is, and this world is going to bombard you with negative things. And it's up to you to renew your mind, says. Remember, the battlefield is the mind. And you want to think about all these things, so you got to be careful. Amen? So, here we go. God wants to use you. Or you can say, God wants to use me. Yeah. If he hadn't, if if you felt like he hasn't used you, you better. Maybe you need to get saved, and you need uh, to have relationship with him amen. on yeah. a daily basis, not just uh, once a year, <laughs> That's or, right. or once or twice a year. Uh -huh. No, daily relationship, daily with him. Amen. Praise God. God wants to use you, and guess what? God is counting on you. You know why? Because well, let me read it the way I wrote it here. <laughs> God wants to use you. God's counting on you. Yes. When, when, tr when trouble comes or problems come your way, let go and let God. All right now. You know, let it go and let God. Yes. You know, sometimes we want to do it ourselves. Sometimes no. we want to rely on friends that got more problems than you do. Oh, Jesus. Okay, come on. Or sometimes we want to rely on negative things, uh, drugs, uh, alcohol. Negative things, you know, and sometimes we want to want to put it. Come on, we got to be for real. Sometimes right, we just want to blow our brains out. Yeah, come on. We don't want to do that. No, we have too many people that care for us. Right, yes. Amen. Yes. God right. loves us. You know, we yes. need to spend time with Him so we don't do those things. Amen. God is counting on you. Yes, He is. Hoping we all pull through and fulfill our mission. Yeah. Not letting extra weights, sins, cares, troubles, problems. Distractions, bad reports stop you from fulfilling what God has called you to That's do. Right. What God has called you to do. You need to get this. This is very important. God has put you here for a reason. God has called you here for a reason. And he's put you on this mission. But not only that, he's equipped you to win. Amen. He didn't equip you to lose. If we're losing, it's because we're not focused on what yeah. he's given us. That's right. Amen. We're not using what he's given us. We're not using his word. Yeah. Amen. Let me see how I wrote it here. God has called you to do. He he's, uh, wants to use you. He's called you. He's equipped you to win. Yeah. What we do now will affect eternity. Yes. Yeah, you know, you can have a part in this. You can affect eternity. How? By being a witness for God. Amen. Said we're ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Bringing the word of God to That's people right. out there. That never heard of. And you know what? I don't go where you go. Mm -hmm. So we all have our little fields that we go through. Amen. Amen. And we can be a witness wherever we, wherever yeah. God sends us. Amen. Yeah. Wherever we work, wherever we shop, yeah. where, whatever. That's you right. can be a witness for God where you are. Amen. Yeah. So God's counting on us, believers, His children, the body of Christ, the yeah. church. We are the church. How many yeah. times I've told you. We don't come to church here. Uh -huh. This is a building. We assemble That's ourselves right. together. Right. We down. are the church. Yeah. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. What we do will affect eternity. And God is counting on us. Amen. Amen. So our text today is going to be Mark 4.35. Where Jesus calms the storms. Mm -hmm. And you know we're talking about storms of life. And all of us have many storms. Oh, yeah. Amen. But what we do with them is... Mm -hmm. How rooted and grounded you are in Him. Amen. Yes, so true. anyway, let's open our books to uh, Mark. It's also written in the uh, book of Luke. But Mark uh, 4.35. So let's go there. Let me, read it. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. Okay, you read it from whatever translation you have. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. Okay. Mm -hmm. It says, the storm is still. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us go over to the other side of the lake. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now listen, <laughs> we already know the story, but storm is going to rise up. On a daily basis, yeah. you're going to have storms rise up. Yeah. But Jesus says, this is the day I have given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Jesus told his disciples, we're going to the other side. Yeah. You got to have faith in what he said. Yeah. It doesn't matter what rises up or what comes up. He said, we're going to the other side. If he said, I can count on him. Yeah, I can have faith and trust in what he said. It doesn't matter what right, what comes up. That's it. And that's, he's, he's growing his disciples here. <laughs> anyway, 36 says, 
and leaving the throng, uh, they took him with them, just as he was in in the boat in which he was uh, sitting. Uh -huh. On the and the other boats were uh, with him. And thirty seven says, uh, "Listen, the, a furious storm of wind. You don't see this in the King James. This is the Amplified. It says a furious storm of wind of hurricane proportions. That's how bad the storm was. Okay, it wasn't just no little wind. Yeah." Okay, a hurricane proportion arose and the waves kept beating on the boat so that it was already be, uh, beco uh, becoming full or filled. But he himself was in the stern of the boat, asleep on the uh, leather cushion. Oh. And they yeah. awoke him and said to him, Master, don't you care that we are perishing? <laughs> and he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Hush, now. Be still, muzzled, mm. and the wind ceased, uh, sank to the rest as if exhausted by its beating. And they were immediately, there was immediately a great calm, yeah. a perfect peacefulness. Mm -hmm. And he said to them, why are you so timid mm. and fearful? How is it that you have no faith, no firm, reliant trust? Mm. And they were filled with great awe and feared exceedingly and said to one another who is this that even the winds and the sea obey him yes so you know it, it wasn't just a, a a little wind right it says of hurricane proportion yeah you don't see that in the king james but you see it in the amplified mm -hmm. amen so and god jesus woke up and rebuked it and oh. says be still right yeah. and then obey him amen yeah. so listen i just want to remind you how important it is about our words yes. it says death and life are in the power of the tongue, of the tongue. Mm -hmm. death and life are in the words you speak so you need to be careful because yes. jesus used the right words yes. and obey him yeah. amen so hallelujah this man that, that blessed me amen. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. the text tells us what to do when storms of life come mm -hmm. jesus said we are going to the other side. Yeah. The sea is calm. Mm -hmm. With faith in his words, words are powerful. Death and life are in the words. So we must be careful and guard our words. Mm -hmm. When they started their, uh, that, their day, their, their, uh, excuse me, when they started their day, it was uh, nice and calm. Mm -hmm. Daily, when we start our day, mm -hmm. nice and calm. Sometimes yeah. before you walk out, already you have storms no. already you have problems somebody calls and then somebody calls you yeah. something happens yeah. at home or something you know man we haven't even walked out of home yet mm -hmm. and we already have a storm we already have problems we already have some some, some troubles here mm. <laughs> listen we need to have time with him yes and we need to set our priorities right yes amen and matthew six thirty three says in the new king james says but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added on to you. So you know what? We awake and spend time with him and prepare for our days. You know, because those storms are going to rise up even yes, before we head out the door. Oh, yeah. Amen. Those uh, giant storms are going to be waiting for you. Or, or they're going to meet you mm -hmm. even before you walk out. That's so it. let's remember that. Troubles come to all people. Save and unsaved. Family it. problems, health problems, financial problems, addiction oh problems, marital problems. We've all been through some of these. We cannot camp out. We cannot feel sorry. And we can't quit. That's it. That's Listen, amazing. soldier of God, yeah. here's your orders. Mm -hmm. Press on. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Press yes. on. We're pressing on with him. We're battle ready on a daily basis. Yeah. And we're pressing on. These things are happening around us, but we're pressing on. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the fact that we are saved doesn't mean that trouble will never come your way. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Just because you got saved don't mean, hey, I'm going to take it easy and comfy no. and nothing's going to happen anymore. No. Mm -hmm. You know what? The only time he ain't going to bother you is when you're in sin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come you try on, to get man. out of sin and he's going to give you hell. Yeah. Right. Amen. <laughs> so <laughs> let's remember that. <laughs> when trouble comes, oh, gosh. when trouble comes, realize your source, Jesus. Mm -hmm. His word, his name, his blood, his authority. He's yeah. given us authority. Amen. Not the world, not friends. 
with worse problems, bigger problems than you do. Not drugs, not booze, not quitting, and not suicide. That's it all for sure. Trouble always gets our attention. We've been ignoring him. We've been magnifying our problems more than him. And we're depending on self, uh -huh. our skills, our abilities. We're depending on family, friends, finances, drugs, and alcohol. Uh -huh. And anything else yeah. but him. We go to him last resort. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I'm coming to you. When you say, well, it's my time. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Right. <laughs> Seems everything is going smooth, comfy, and easy oh, boy. at first. And we, we, we just starting our day. Everything's mm -hmm. nice and easy, nice and comfy. <laughs> we just know hey, what's coming up. <laughs> 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 we forget about our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a prodigal son. They yeah. give me what's mine, I'm out of here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They used him. Listen to this, and you can write this down. You can use it. You can use him like, like a spare tire or a oh. shovel. Uh, uh, uh. What's a spare tire? Well, you take it, use a spare tire, and you work on emergencies only. Mm. Well, Lord, I'm using you only in emergencies. Mm. That's yeah. the only time we remember about him. Mm -hmm. And we use the shovel to dig out of troubles. Oh wow! <laughs> so mm -hmm. anyway, only needed on emergencies, digging us out of trouble again. Mm. Dig me out this time and promise to change. Mm -hmm. Won't do it again. Come on. We've all been there. <laughs> Using him only in case of emergency. How many times have we said this? Over and over and over. Yeah. Amen. And you think he would have been uh, tired of it now and said, I'm giving up on you. Just know he never gives up. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't care who you are, who's listening. Yeah. But he never gives up on you. That's it. You give up on yourself and you got friends that just give up on you. Uh -huh. You know? And uh, like Job's friend says, you know, just cuss God and die. Mm -hmm. No, just forget about it. You know, that's 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 not good advice. That's right. Remember, we are powerless without Him. We're no match to the devil. Unprepared for a daily spiritual battle. You're going to have a spiritual battle every day. Yeah. Not just sometimes. Yeah, He's not right. going to forget about you and say, "Man, you forgot about me today." Mm -hmm. No. You're going to have spiritual battles yes. every day. And the reason I say spiritual battles is because yes. if it's a spiritual battle, you're no match to the enemy That's right. without That's God. It. That's it. You need God. If you want to win the spiritual battle, That's you right. need him and you need his word and use his yes, word. Amen. Yes. If you're not using his word, you ain't no match to the devil. <laughs> and part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. It. You can write that down. You can see it every day. Mm. So I'm going to be busy in the word amen. study to show myself approved amen. amen so realize god is our source of power yes he is we need him without him we're nothing that's it have an attitude of gratitude and dependency on him mm -hmm. hopefully the troubles and storms will drive us mm -hmm. to god and not away that's it. amen wow you know when we see ourselves at at, at, at last you know it says wow lord i need to yes and he's there. Yes, he is. How many times you've told him that? But he never, he says he never leaves you no forsake you. Right. He's always going to be there for you. Yeah. Amen. And I've told you this before. Mm -hmm. A turnaround is just a step away. Yes. And about face, mm -hmm. it's just one step away from saying, this is it. Mm -hmm. I am taking that step in the right way Amen. and going back to God. Amen. Amen. So one step away. Abandon ship or note the excess baggage and excess weight. I've said when you throw you bring your trash to the dumpster, you don't take it back, you leave it there. Yeah. We do the same thing with all our cares, anxieties, worries mm -hmm. to God. We bring them and we leave them there. Yes. And then trust him. And yes. he's going to take care of it. Yes. At his time. Amen. Not our time. That's right. And we want to do everything fast, mm -hmm. quick, instant. No. Mm -hmm. His time. Amen. Yes. But you leave it there. And then trust that he's going to do something with it. Yes. Don't, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Just trust that it's going to get done. Yeah. So get rid of the devil and his friends. <laughs> Any, or anyone else. Or anything he, uh, he uses. Or any yes. distractions. That's right. Just get, get rid of it. Yes. Submit and commit to God. Mm -hmm. Cast all cares on him. First Peter 5, 7 says what? Cast all your cares yes. on him because he cares for you. So you yes. submit. He said he's not giving us uh, a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound. Amen. 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 But we submit ourselves to him mm -hmm. 
resist the devil yes. and then he'll flee from us that's right so that's right. let's remember this amen yes. this is all good man is blessing me i don't know about you <laughs> let's learn to rely on him daily you know how you do this it comes through relationship yes on a daily basis yeah. have relationship learn to rely on god daily yes. not just once in a while right. but don't do the uh, spare tire thing don't yeah. do the shovel <laughs> thing <laughs> But on a daily basis. Yes. Lord, I'm here again. <laughs> I'm going to be in front of him. He's going to know me. Amen. I'm going to be his favorite child. Yes. Because he's going to see me all the time. Yes. Amen. I know I need to. <laughs> oh, it's you again. <laughs> Guard your words. Speak faithful words in your life. Yes. Amen. It sounds hard. No excuse. Just do it. Yes. You have a choice. It's your choice. Amen. Well, I'm not going to do it today. No. You don't take the armor off. It says put on the whole armor of God. Yes. Put on the full armor of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not just part of it. But on a daily basis. Keep that armor on. Amen. That's it. Praise God. And guard your words. I know. You want to slip out. <laughs> put a card. And say don't say it. It's best not to say it. Amen. Yes, yes. Because you're sowing negative, because yes. you're sowing the wrong seed. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bible says Philippians 4 13, I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Lord, I know I can do this. I know I can hold, I know I can hold my tongue. Yes. I know I can hold my words. Amen. Amen. Or whatever it is that you want to confess. Mm -hmm. Our words are carriers yes, are. and have creative power of life and death. Mm -hmm. Pro uh, Proverbs uh, 18 21. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Or yeah. in the power of the words you speak. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how important it is. You know, sometimes we don't get this. We need to get this. It's time to get it. Mm -hmm. Your words are not just trash. Mm -hmm. Your words have power. Yes, Amen. They do. <laughs> Most of the words yeah. spoken today are negative words oh, yeah. and bring death, troubles, and yes. problems. Mm -hmm. We are bombarded daily by negative media All right. TV, internet, newspapers, radio, mm -hmm. people, family, friends, co workers. Mm -hmm. We're try being. Remember, you're in spirit. You have a soul, and you live. You have a soul and, and a body. Uh -huh. The spirit feed the word of God. Your soul, with your mind, will, and emotions, you must renew on a daily basis, or, or it all the time. Yes. And and your body is the flesh. Yes. Says crucify your flesh. Yes. Crucify your flesh, because the flesh wants to just wants it easy, mm -hmm. wants it comfy, mm -hmm. but we just gotta say no. Yeah. <laughs> Romans 12 and 2 says in the NIV don't do not conform to the patterns of this world but be transformed how by renewing your mind. your mind then you will be able to test to test and approve what God will will is his good pleasing and perfect will yeah so we must you're being bombarded on a daily basis but yes. still we need to renew our minds renew our with minds. the word of God if you're not yeah. doing it you're going to be defeated. Yes. If you're not doing it, you're going to fall back mm -hmm. to what was or what yes. used to be. Amen. So let's remember this. The power of faith-filled words will completely change your attitude about the words you speak. They will change your life and future. Words are like seeds sown going before us, planting your future and or planting our future of life or death. But you are doing it for yourself. Yeah. No one's doing it for you. Mm -hmm. You know, why is this always happening to me? Mm -hmm. Because of the words you speak. Yes. You have to be careful. And you know, hey, I cancel any curse, I cancel any mm -hmm. anything. Yes. From way back. Thank you. And I'm gonna start a new yeah. walk with God. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna confess the right things. Amen. So mm -hmm. don't let somebody just say, Well, you know, it's because of your family, it's because of this, because of no, it's because of my walk and my yes. words that I speak. Yes. Amen. Yes. So be be careful, be careful. When troubles come your way again, speak faith filled words. Yes. People react to troubles in different ways. Yes. <laughs> you can write these down. These mm -hmm. are funny. Well, they're not funny. Mm -hmm. Some grumble. No. Some gripe. Mm -hmm. Some groan. Some grieve. But some grow. Yes. yes. Some yeah. grow. It's time for the growing. It's time for the maturing. Amen. 
we've done enough grumble, enough gripe, and get enough groans and enough right uh, grieving. It's time to grow up. <laughs> it's time to grow up. We we can't be baby Christians all our lives. That's it. Amen. We do. We have to grow. You yes. see, the little baby is born and it grows up. Amen. So we also we must grow. Trouble will never leave a person the same. It will either leave you bitter or yeah. bad. Oh yes. Mm -mm. Which one are you? Mm. That's your choice. Yeah. Amen. You're either bitter or better. Hopefully, yeah. it leaves you better. Yeah. <laughs> you can live a successful life even in the midst of the storms. Yes, you can. They say there is peace in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. Examples, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's troubles all around him. Mm -hmm. Everywhere he went, but still, there was peace mm -hmm. with him. The Bible says he is the prince of peace. Of peace. Yes. Amen. Well, we ain't going to have no peace till he comes. That's it. Amen. But still, we can spend time with him. Yes. And he'll give us the peace that we need. Amen. Yes. That's one of our fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And Paul, this is listen to Paul. When troubles uh, or, or storms come your way, does not mean that you have to take it laying down. Oh yeah, that's right. Doesn't mean you got to throw the towel in. Doesn't mean you got to quit. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you give up. Yes, we're yes. not quitters. We're winners. Yes, yes. We're overcomers. We're yes. more than conquerors. Amen. The greater one is in me. Yes. I can do all things through Him. We need to speak this word out. Yes. You know when you fill yourself up, you think you're not doing anything. But you're growing mm -hmm. and you're changing. Yes. And when trouble comes, when you speak, I used to curse. <laughs> oh. Now the word flows out of me. Mm -hmm. and then I've been putting it all in there. Yeah. And my cup is full and I'm full. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, out of your innermost being shall flow yeah. rivers, rivers of living water. water. Rivers of living word of God mm -hmm. is coming out of you. Wow. That's me. There's a change. You know, people see you and they see the same person. Mm -hmm. And they said, there's no change about you. I still see the same person. Yeah. <laughs> Until you speak. Mm -hmm. When you start speaking, well, let me let me read this to you. Mm -hmm. Believers, <clears throat> don't just read the word. They just don't talk the word. Mm -hmm. They live the word. Yes. Amen. And when you start doing these things, and people say, we see a change in you. Mm -hmm. You used to. Out. You used to hang out here. You used to do this. But you're not doing those things anymore. What? I'm reading, I'm talking, and I'm living the Word of God. Amen. That's a Christian. Mm -hmm. That's a believer right yes. there. Yep. Amen. It's not just in between. Right. But we have, we have to do yes. all this. Amen. I lost my spot. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are and whose you are. Yes. And who you belong to. Uh -huh. Amen. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. On a daily basis, you know, spend time with him. Say, Lord, thank you for this day. Amen. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm here to fulfill whatever it is you have for me today. Right. <coughs> Amen. Whatever it is you have for me today. Yes. You have a, a mission for me today. Uh -huh. Amen. On a daily basis. We cannot escape from encountering troubles in life. But Jesus has given us the power and the authority to drive the troubles and the storms away. Right. He told his disciples, we're going to the other side. And you can wake up and say, thank you, Lord, for this day. Uh -huh. And say, we're going to complete this day. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to complete this mission mm -hmm. in this day. Amen. Why? Because I'm confessing the word. Yes. And God yes. is with Amen. me. Amen. God is with me. Use your power and your authority. Yes. Amen. Use it. Don't just mm -hmm. be powerless. All right. There's too many defeated Christians. Yes. Because they won't speak. Because they won't do. Nobody knew how young you as a Christian. Mm. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know. All right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let them know you're a Christian. Amen. <laughs> you cannot pre uh, listen. You can't prevent the bird or the troubles or the storms mm. or the cares from flying over your head. Yeah. But you can stop them from building a nest. Oh yeah, for sure. When you're here or you're hid. <laughs> and this is your life. Changing your life, you know? Mm -hmm. So let's remember this. Mm -hmm. Really, I can make a change. I, I can do something yes, about it. Yes. I'm going to make a, a, a change. I'm going to make a, a choice That's here. Right. I ain't going to let this happen anymore. Mm. So it's time to say, you know what? It's time to change. It's time to quit. Mm -hmm. And it's time to press on with God. Amen?
Come on now. Yeah. Stop yeah. running from your troubles, your storms, and your cares. That's right. Take a stand. The Bible yes. said, "When you take a stand, stand." Yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm going to take this stand. Ephesians uh, six thirteen and fourteen says, in the uh, easy to read version, says, "Put on the whole armor of God." Mm -hmm. This is why we need to get yes. God's whole armor. Then on the day of evil, when you will be able to stand strong, and when you have finished the whole fight, you will be able to be standing. Yes. And when you've done this, stand strong in Him. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm standing strong in you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know when the enemy is a spiritual battle, mm -hmm. they may not, they might see you a little David, mm -hmm. but they see in the spiritual realm, they see who's backing you. Yes. And God is backing me. Amen. And I'm confessing the word of God. Amen. So I'm standing strong in him. I'm standing strong in the word. Amen. I'm going to stand and God is going to be with me. He's not going to leave me and he's not going to forsake me. James 4, 7 and 8 in the easy to read version says, So give yourself to God. Stand against the devil and he will run from you. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. It says come near to God and he will come near to you. You are sinners, so clean sin out of your lives. And you are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Mm. Make your thinking pure. Renew yes. your mind. Yes. Amen. I mean, this is simple yes. in English. You can understand. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You got to make this stand. It says, submit yourself to God. Mm. Resist the enemy and he'll flee from you. But yes. you come close to him. You have to step close. Mm -hmm. You have to open the door when it comes to knocking. Yeah. You know? Has he sent you a friend request? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On Facebook, we're always getting friend requests. Uh -huh. Are you responding? Ha 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 have you confirmed it or have you deleted it? A lot of us delete it. Mm -hmm. And we keep putting delete, delete, delete. Mm -hmm. And he keeps knocking. It's time that we confirm and open up to him amen. and let him in amen it's much easier with him than without him yeah <laughs> we're we have power and authority with yes. him without him we're nothing no good <laughs> psalms 23 and 24 i'm going to read it to you from the amplified psalms 23 and 4 says yea you will walk through the deep sunless valley of the shadow of death i will fear or dread no evil, no evil. for you are with me your rod to protect and your staff to guide they comfort me mm -hmm. amen you know sometimes you got to read a different translation yes. and the amplified just brings out even more you know amen. yeah you'll walk to the man of death i'll fear no evil, fear no evil. amen praise mm -hmm. god psalm 46 and uh 46 in the niv says god is our safety place and our strength yes he is always mm -hmm. our help when we're in trouble yeah. You can you can write this down. Mm. God is our safe place yes. and our strength. He is always our help when we're in trouble. When do you find yourself in trouble? All the time. If you don't, if you're not confessing the word mm -hmm. and you're not following Him and you're not being full time Christian, you're gonna find yourself in trouble all the time. Yeah. Amen. Don't be. A, if you're gonna call yourself a Christian. Don't be a defeated Christian. Amen. Amen. Use his name. Use his power. Use his authority. Amen. Woo. Man. Hallelujah. But the enemy will know this. And he says, I'm submitting myself to God. I'm going to confess his word. And the enemy's going to flee from me. He's, he has to. He yes. can't be there. You know, he's a defeated foe. Yes, he is. So we shouldn't let a defeated foe defeat us. That's it. Amen. Romans 8 31 says and then shall we say unto these things mm -hmm. if God is for us who can be against us yeah. we're on God's winning team yes. <laughs> if we're on God's winning team yes. who can be against us it doesn't matter we're going to win period Amen. that's it 2 Corinthians 4 8 and 9 says we have troubles all around us but we are not defeated that's it. <laughs> we often don't know what to do but we don't give up. We are persecuted, but God does not leave us. 
it. when we are when we when <laughs> we are hurt sometimes, mm -hmm. but we are not destroyed. That's it. Amen. Man, this Thank is you, awesome. Yes, yes. Praise God. And I want to read you the uh, First Peter five through nine in the uh, New Living Translation. It says, "Give all your worries, all your cares, all your troubles, all your storms to God, yeah. where He cares about you. Stay alert and watch for the great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Yeah. Stand firm against him, and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family." of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. Amen. Amen. Yes. So we got to stand strong in faith. Stand strong in faith. Because the enemy goes around as a roaring lion. Yes. And you know what the enemy is looking for? <laughs> weak Christians. He's looking for defeated Christians. Mm -hmm. Weak Christians. He's looking for Christians confessing the wrong mm -hmm. words. Yes. And when you confess the wrong things, you're opening the door for him. Yeah. We won't open the door for God, for Jesus, but we're opening the door mm -hmm. for the enemy to come yeah. in by the words we speak. Mm -hmm. Because instead of being positive, we're negative. Yeah. So be careful. He goes around as a roaring lion, yes. waiting for you to say the wrong things oh, yeah. for him to come in. Amen. And Psalms uh, 55, 22 says, in the... Uh, Good News Translation says, Leave your troubles with God, and He will defend you. Yeah. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Right. Man, this is, this is, this is awesome. It says, Cast all your burdens on Jesus, because That's He cares all. for you. Yes. But then, uh, Good News Translation says, Leave your troubles with, with the Lord. Mm -hmm. He will defend you, and we will not permit the godly to slip and fall. That's right. Amen. Man, yeah. this is this is awesome. Yes, yes. And sometimes some benefits of trouble. Mm -hmm. Trouble uni uh, brings unity. Yeah. Troubles can be a blessing. Unity is brings us together, unites us, joins us. It draws people together. Remember the most deadly uh, hurricanes. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, neighbors who never talked before become friends. Oh, yeah. They share food. They eat together. Mm -hmm. They loan each other tools. Mm -hmm. They help each other <laughs> cut down trees. Yeah. They help each other. Yes. Uh, repair roofs. Yes. They are courteous. They're kind. Mm -hmm. And the whole community rallies together to yeah. survive. That's it. And sometimes these troubles brings us together. As yeah. believers, we need to come together. Yes. Not pull apart. You know, uh, uh, by denominations. Mm -hmm. Well, you're doing it the wrong way. You're saying uh -huh. the wrong things. No. We need to pull together. Amen. Yes. We need to pull together as believe brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes. Amen. That's where the enemy can have you. Mm. No, we're not. We're not pulling apart. We got. We got to stay together. Amen. Right. We got to stay together. It draws people to the Lord. Trouble not only draws people together; it draws people to the Lord. Yes. God is often the last resort instead of the first resort. Oh, that's right. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> when troubles arise in, in people's lives, trouble forces us to look beyond our yeah. own source. Yeah. Our right. own resources and seek God. It draws believers and non-believers to church. Yes, yes. that's right. Yeah. Sure does. You know. Now they say that you can't, you can't, you can't gather yourself. Mm. You got to wear a mask. You know, and you can't come together. <laughs> no, it draws us together Amen. as believers. Amen. Because we're going to pray about this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Trouble causes believers and non-believers to seek the help and comfort of the church and other Christians. Churches are constantly getting calls from people when they're in need. Yes. Amen. We're getting calls all the time. We need to pray. Pray for us. Amen. Like I said, uh, financial problems, family problems, health problems, marital problems, all these things. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And he was one of my favorite scriptures. Hebrews 10.25 yes. and we'll close with this and I got a couple of things I want to read with you but Hebrews 10.25 says let us not neglect our meeting together or coming together as some people do but encourage one another especially now that the day of his return is drawing near this day is getting closer and closer 
Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to assemble ourselves together. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And encourage one another. Not compare, not compete. Yeah. But Come. encourage one another. Yeah. Amen. Come together in unity yeah. and be the body of Christ. He's called us to be. Amen. Not to look at the wrong things. Look at the positive things. Right. Amen. Right. He says, many parts, but one body. One body. We're the body. Amen. He's the head, we're the body. Mm -hmm. And this body has many parts. Mm -hmm. And every part has different functions. Yes. Amen. So let's just remember that we don't compare against one another or compete with one another that's right whatever god has called you to do he hasn't called some, somebody else to do it so right. whatever you do big or small for him yeah. do it under amen. him and serve him amen and uh he's going to see you through and he's going to bless you amen. amen like i said we're too blessed to be stressed yeah. amen so praise god let me read you this in closing yeah. <laughs> what to do when troubles come yeah. Spend time with God. Yeah. Get your priorities in order. That's right. Matthew six thirty three. Seek Him first. Huh. His word first. Yes. Meditate on God, on, on, on Him, yes. uh, on His in His presence. <laughs> Renew your mind with the Word of God. Uh -huh. Believe God's promises. Amen. Count your blessings. Listen. Count your blessings. You can write that down. You count your blessings, not your worries, not your cares, not your problems. But you count your blessings. Count your blessings one by one. Amen. Amen. You, and you see what the Lord has done. No, right. He's blessed you so Amen. much. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Get rid of all your excess baggage. Yes. Dream busters, mission busters, <laughs> distractions. Whatever. Get, get, get rid of these things. Oh, Amen. gosh. <laughs> and guard your word. Oh, I can't do yes. that. Yes. Well, the Bible says you can do all things all through Christ. Things. So don't say, I can't. That's it. Amen. So Lord, I need to help. Yes. You need to help me with this. I can't do it, but I can do all things Amen. through you. So give me the strength I need yes. to stop saying these negative things. That's right. Amen. Guard your words. Yes. They are powerful. Yes, they are. And put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Listen, God is our refuge, mm -hmm. our sanctuary, our shelter, our protection, yes. and our strength. Yes. In every present help in trouble. Yes. Believing in Him, depending on Him, mm -hmm. and hiding in Him. Mm -hmm. Remember that he, what He has done. Be yes. still before Him and acknowledge His power mm -hmm. and life, and your life and circumstances. Yeah. Our prayer should be this Psalms uh, 139. You can write this mm -hmm. uh, 23 24. It says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. 24. And see if there be any wicked in me, any wicked ways in me, mm -hmm. and lead me in the way everlasting. Yes. Amen. Woo, Amen. Yes, that will that'll, that'll, that'll really, really bless you. Yes. Amen. So Amen. praise God. And I leave this for you. And we, I've read it other times, but footprints in the sand. Mm -hmm. One night I had a dream. I dreamed I was walking along the beach mm -hmm. with the Lord. And across the sky flashed scenes from my life. Mm. In every scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. Mm -hmm. One belonged to me, the other belonged to the Lord. Mm. When the last scene of life flashed before me, or before us, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. Mm -hmm. I noticed that many times along the path of life, there was only one set of footprints. Mm. I noticed that it happened at every lowest and saddest time in my life. This really bothered me, and I questioned the Lord about it. Mm. Lord, you said once I decided to follow you, you would walk with me all the way. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in life, there is only one set of footprints. Mm. I don't understand why in times when I needed you the most, You should lead me. The Lord replied, My precious child, precious child says, I love you and I will never leave you mm -hmm. during your times of trials and sufferings. When you saw only one set of footprints, mm -hmm. he says, It was then that I carried you. Yes. yes. 
but we question him all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said he says, but I notice or or go up. Uh, I noticed that many times along the path of my life, mm -hmm. there was only one set of footprints. Yeah. So I questioned the Lord about it. Mm. And he came and he asked the Lord, he says, hey, when I needed you the most, you were gone. What's up? He says, my precious child, mm. I love you and I will never leave you during the times, your times of trials and sufferings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then I carried you. Hallelujah. So he must depend on you. He wants to use you. Yes. And he'll leave you. He, he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Amen. Yeah. So, hallelujah. If you had never asked him, mm. Lord, thank you for your precious word, Lord. Help us to apply it to your life, to our life, Lord, in Jesus' yes. name. Thank you, Lord. And if you never asked him, now's the time, you know. Yes. Things are times are getting close. Mm. <laughs> so ask him. Lord, I've said just Receive a message on it, say yes. And all you have to do is say, you know, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And start making changes in your life. Start reading your words. Start mm -hmm. going to church. Amen. Amen. And you you can do this because the Bible says you can do all things. All things. You know, and you start learning what the Word of God says and not what mm -hmm. the negative media and negative yeah. people say, oh, you know. Gosh. Amen. And start making changes and confessing. His word mm -hmm. and not negative words. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. If you're hurting, Lord, I pray for those that are hurting right now, Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Whatever area of your body, Lord, and we just touch that part, Father God, and we just thank you. The Bible says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed yes. totally. Yes. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. And I claim my healing right now, Father God. I yes. receive it thank you, Lord. in Jesus' name. Amen yes. and amen. Yes. Praise God. It blessed me. I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah. But you got to let it bless you. Amen. Yes. So those of you watching and listening, you still want to give yes. your tithe, your offerings, you can still do that. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. If yes. you made it, NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, yeah. Texas, 79843. And we just want to let you know God loves you and we love you. Amen. Praise God. Yeah.